last time on Sailing Music and Lyrics. Having a great day here in paradise. So far, we leave tomorrow, going to Highburn, do some provisioning, and we're taking off for Compass. I want to swim with the sharks. Um, provisioning. <laughs> <laughs> Our three little bags here. $190. Yes, this is very expensive to buy stuff here. Um, but one of the big attractions here, apparently, at Highburn Key is the sharks. So we're going to go say hello. Come with us. Our videos are not just for us to look back on later. They're for you. And if you enjoy them and want to see more, join the band on Patreon. Well, this isn't something you see every day. I'm wondering who's going to get pulled over on the high seas. I wonder if someone got hurt. was about a 10 minute dinghy ride from our boat and just in this little cove here uh, it's a beautiful natural aquarium I'm freezing <laughs> I do not have a wetsuit uh, and Captain Rockstar over here is gonna continue snorkeling while I dry off <laughs> this is right on the hills of yet another I wouldn't call it a windstorm but we were getting uh, gusts of wind yesterday up to 25 Hi, I'm cold. I'm basically in fetal position inside the dinghy. Um, but it's actually a pretty lovely day. This is day two of my no work two weeks, um, which is really funny, I should say. I was uh, telling people, yeah, I'm going to be taking off on vacation, which is ironic because for six months being here in the Bahamas isn't that vacation. <laughs> anyway, beautiful, just beautiful. Not a cloud in the sky. Pretty glorious. So we just left um, the aquarium here in Cambridge Key and great, great place to go. Yeah, we are we're at high tide and we decided to take a little putt putt. Only at high tide can you get through here. This is a uh, parkland, which is good. We were worried that it was part of someone's private island. Just thought we'd come out here and chill for a bit. Okay. <laughs> 
Hang loose. <laughs> no, turtle sideways, like this turtle. Shark, this is shark. If you see me do this, then at point, that's the shark. Totally does. <laughs> this cave is way cooler. <laughs> you get in the boat so much more gracefully than I do. <laughs> What did you think of the caves? Uh, the caves were awesome. Both <laughs> the caves are very spectacular. The second one over here though, way better. So cool. You can see why they film movies in these things. Yes. Awesome stuff. Very good. Likes beef jerky. <laughs> There's something really cool about being the only footprints on a beach. <laughs> 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 Awesome. <laughs> that was good. What do you guys do before work? Here's what we do. Try it again. We'll see if we can get a still out of it. Let's switch. Go over here, because you got the sun behind you. What did you think of the grotto? The grotto was awesome. A lot of fish. Really cool caves. Um, a lot of people say that the Dundas are better. It 
you want better rock formations, yeah, the Dundas are, are really cool. Um, really cool cuts look like people. Yeah. It was eerie. Yeah. Um, but if you want a lot of fish and some coral. Big tropical fish. And, and you know, like almost like an indoor reef. Yeah. Thunderball, Thunderball is the way, is, is the way to go. But they were both really cool. Thunderball was awesome. I think, I, I think what I like best about um, the Thunderball Grotto was the light filtering through the opening of the cave into and down through the water. It's really cool. Got some pretty good video of that. Anyways, now we are, we just went to the wrong place. We thought that was the dinghy dock. Well, dinghy landing, I should say. So we pulled off and uh, went in. We've got to do some provisioning and uh, we are back on our four stroke to Hatsu because yesterday our 15 power Suzuki it took a crap on us. Um, so we were very thankful actually that we still had this four stroke. So we're on the hunt. Hopefully we'll find something here in Spaniel. If not, at least we've got some sort of transportation even if she goes slower than Molasses until we get to Georgetown. This is life on a boat. Got to deal with it. Making, making lemonade out of lemons. Are, so it's about 2.30 and we are leaving Staniel Key. You can hear in the background, someone hailing Staniel K. I think it's quite a beautiful island. We didn't get much exploring in, only being here for the night. But uh, what we saw was really impressive. Well, we've timed this uh, for high tide and we are just under high tide. Um, we got an hour and a half. Uh, not sure we're even going to put up the sail um, because <laughs> he's like, yeah, we are. Jim only then. And then, um, yeah, we're, we're going to be uh, hunkering down for a few days at Black Point before the storm comes. And um, our plan right now, because we're looking at gusts of 38 on Sunday night and into Monday. I suppose that inside that lagoon there's the carcass of a sailboat from a past hurricane. It's always upsetting seeing that. And you know what? I'm actually pretty disappointed. We just came in through that cut and you're not going to be able to see all the white caps, but there was probably three foot rollers <laughs> in there. Uh, it was pretty crazy and I didn't want to distract Eric who was manhandling the boat uh, to hand me the GoPro so at least we could get some footage. But we have made it um, inside um, Dotham cut. cut, and we are gonna head up just a hair further south to get to Black Point. Black Point. We were doing 6.9 knots through the water coming through this cut, and we were only making 2.8 over ground. I mean, it was it was a four knot current. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. But you know, everything says just stick to the middle. And yeah, yeah. I was manhandling and just trying to get cut through the current, but we made it perfectly. So 
we've got um, northwest, or, I'm sorry, northeast, north northeast winds coming through Saturday, and then we got a big front that's coming in. Um, so we're gonna tuck ourselves into uh, one of the anchorages at Black Point, yeah, ride that out, and then uh, probably take off Saturday, Friday, Saturday. Today's Wednesday. It would be nice to stay here for more than just two nights, and then. Um, We'll sneak over to, I guess, little farmers and keep our fingers crossed that we can, that whatever this front is, it's not going to be too bad, not too long. But you got to do what you got to do. The weather dictates weather and wind dictate. Well, wind is weather. It tells you where you're going and when and how fast, not the other way around. What do they say? The um, biggest enemy of sailor is a schedule. Calendar. Yeah. yeah. But my vacation is, uh, so I'm in uh, day three of my two week no work, no work two week vacation. And uh, as it would happen, we're gonna have a storm for my vacation. Oh well, I'll get my Harry Potter books read. <laughs> what? <laughs> so what are we doing? Uh, we're getting off the boat. Yeah, we are. We're, <laughs> we're gonna go explore Black Point, see what uh, Black Point settlement, see what see what it's all about. At least for a little while. Yeah. When was the last time you seen one of these? This is a phone booth. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Awesome. Hello. Got a pretty good selection of canned uh, food here. This is a this is the biggest market we've been in. This is awesome. Yeah. But you'll have clean sheets. How will that make you feel? <laughs> We have slept oh, on no. the same sheets. I think it's been three weeks. And it's. Oh, look at the sunset. Nice. Oh, this is the laundromat. Nice. We sit over here. But let's go around. I want to see the sunset. Yep. So we can Lorraine's over. new dock. Yeah. So we can dingy over to it. So we heard about this dock when we were, we were in. Uh, Daniel. Yeah. Wow, that is a really pretty sunset, hun. Alright, I want to go in. What is this? This is Lorraine's Cafe. Oh. Right ahead. Thank you. <laughs> so we decided that we we're gonna head out this morning um we've only been in black point for one day it's a very nice spot but i guess it's kind of not our cup of tea and the anchorage is horrible yeah it's pretty rolly here so i shouldn't say horrible i mean we've been in worse uh spots but um i was up at three o'clock in the morning convinced that all of the fishing boats were um leaving and creating these huge wakes that would be the only reason to explain these big rollers that knocked over stuff inside the salon it takes a lot to knock stuff over in a catamaran so i went out i'm like i'm done and eric wants to go to little farmers he wants to do some diving and some fishing it'd be great and i really hope he has success today because i want i want to be gone i want to go to civilization <laughs> Take me to Georgetown. <laughs> With your bag of trash? No, we're going to <laughs> drop off. They've got a uh, free drop off here, so we're taking all of our trash. We've got more bags in the front locker. And uh, we'll, we'll drop those off, and then we're going to lift the hook and sail away. Well, motor away, and then put the sail stuff. 
We saw another boat this morning uh, sail off anchor. It was pretty impressive. But, but this won't do that. <laughs> this will do that. <laughs> this won't do that. This won't do that. <laughs> That's exactly right. All right, so we've left uh, Black Point this morning um, at about 9.40, I guess it was. Yeah, 9.40. And we're just doing a, a quick little sail down to Little Farmers. Stay there for the night and then we're going to head off to Georgetown. I just want to show you how gorgeous it is today. By, I mean, comparison from yesterday, where we had big choppy water and it was bouncing this around. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful water. We're in about 16 feet of water. We're going about 6.5. We're under Genoa alone. Well, we do have the motors going. Gosh, I remember the first time I stepped aboard a catamaran, the Lagoon 440. I was so not sure-footed. And that was at, <laughs> at a dock. Absolutely gorgeous. It's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be nice and calm as well. Last night was really bad the surge coming into black point between dotham and God, i forgot the the other point oh my it knocked over dishes it takes a lot to knock something over in a catamaran i'm just very hopeful that this one is able to dive and catch us a lobster for dinner that wouldn't awesome. that be awesome can you see that house it's a castle it's got four Turns, turrets? turrets on it, and it's a house built like a freaking little miniature castle. Yeah, they're not gonna be able to see it from the YouTube, but um, <laughs> very that cool. Awesome. Doesn't seem like we're cooking along it. How fast are we going, babe? 6.4. 6.4. Point, how much? 6.7 through the water, so we don't have a lot of current to fight today. That's a good thing. <laughs> 